welcome back to Kentucky Ancestors. So Alice, your curiosity and questions about your family history were sparked by the article written by Noma Winston mm -hmm. that we examined at the beginning of the show. Very interesting story. After taking a closer look at Noma's original article and family story, our researchers were immediately struck by the overall probable truth of her account and then became concerned with some of the problematic individual details, which can certainly happen. For instance, while details about the smuggling family were presented with great clarity, some of the logistical details seem to confuse a path to the truth, although still making for a great story. The most troubling portion of Sally Keene's narrative, as told by Noma, is the description of Sally's stately home overlooking the Mississippi River. So supposedly that's near Hickman. It states that Sally signals smugglers across the river by placing a candle in her attic window, but to signal smugglers on the Arkansas side of the river. So the problem with this description is geography as we certainly look at the map. When looking at maps of the area from both today and during the Civil War, the lower tip of Missouri prevents anyone in Kentucky from seeing, let alone signaling, anyone in Arkansas. Well, the location details were not the only problems, of course, in Noma's article. She named several individuals throughout the story, such as General Kirby, her great-great-grandfather, Captain John King, her great-great-grandmother, Sally King, and her great-grandfather, Andrew King, who supposedly supplied the false identity of the dead soldier. So as for General Kirby, we couldn't locate any Confederate general with that surname. But we did find Confederate General Edmund Kirby Smith, who oversaw the Trans-Mississippi Department. This places him in the right area, including both Missouri and Arkansas, but with a slightly different name, which again, happens over time. As for Noma's great-great-grandparents and great-grandfather, unfortunately our research couldn't find any such people in her family tree with those names. Instead, we found a great-great-grandfather, John Luttrell, who had a sister named Sally, and a great-grandfather named Andrew. So Alice, sometimes these names seem similar you know, to the article, but not quite correct. It's like you, you can call somebody grandmothers and you never hear their real name. So that's how you can get things mixed up on names. When we think about Noma, was she telling sort of a whopper of a tale? Um, it's a great tale, right? But we'll find out after our final commercial break.